struggling scoring the ball right now. Um, we missed a bunch of shots in that first quarter. I thought the defense was good. Um, we did a great job defensively. And then that second quarter, uh, we didn't defend 42 points after holding the team to 19. I thought that was a big part of the game. And then the third quarter, we couldn't score again. Uh, we're missing a lot of easy shots. I mean, layups, tip-ins, dunks. Um, those are things that you got to make. It's simple. It's simple. you got to make those easy ones that, that we are getting. Um, when you do that, the basket becomes bigger. You get more confident. Uh, but when you miss those easy putbacks, those easy bunnies, it puts a lot of pressure and a lot of stress on the defense. But our defense was good in the second half. We played harder and played better in that second half defensively, but we just we're struggling scoring the basketball right now. What do you think they did to limit Brad to such a poor shooting? You know, some nights uh, the ball's not going to fall your way. He, he had, I'm going to go back, obviously look at it um, from the three-point line. I, I know all of his threes were good. Uh, they probably missed some shots around the basket that were contested, but you know he's one for six from three, and Kelly's six threes. Was 0 for 6, and he was wide open on probably all of them. So, those are the things that you know. That's just part of the game. You're going to go through some bad stretches of missing threes, but the defense in that second quarter, uh, and then we, the, the easy shots around the rim, the tip ins, the layups, we got to convert. He's got a man one that Burke got on Kelly. Is that just a teaching moment there? Yeah, we've had a few of those. It's time to pick up those moments and and, and internalize them and 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 fill it and do it. Uh, we can't continue to give and ones. We probably lead the league, almost three a game. Um, that's, that situation, we had an extra defender because I think it was Lance Thomas uh, was in the, in the back court. So we, we have to communicate, but we can't foul. We can't foul in that situation. We cannot do it. Sorry, right before that, uh what did you think of the decision by Kelly? You're up one. He takes the. Op- he was open, but took, took the three in the corner. I, I, it's, it was a tough decision. You know, we're up one with I think it was 46 <laughs> seconds left. Uh, Thomas is dribbling on the right side, passes it to um, Otto, and the, temp- the temptation is that they're going to only have two defenders in the key. But I'd probably like to hold that ball because um, you haven't shot the ball well from the three. Uh, get a better shot. Worst case, the, the clock is our friend, so it's another teaching moment. Scott, uh, you talked about the wanting to see some more urgency. Why do you think uh, you guys wanted to kind of show that against the next? No, I, I thought I thought we came out with great I mean, defensive intensity and everything. And sometimes, you know, those shots are not falling, but we were still defending the next first quarter. And then the second unit came in, and, and they got hot. 42 points. Um, we got to lock in defensively. And in the second half, you know, the same thing. The third quarter, we couldn't score. We got to figure out how can that, how can our starting unit get back to scoring. Do you feel like your guys have their eyes on now versus on um, when is John coming back or when are the playoffs starting? Yeah, I mean that's. I mean, I I would hope that they would have it on now because if you don't, you're never going to win a game. So, uh, I mean, the games are the games definitely are competitive. So I don't think it's going. And we're looking ahead for John coming back, but we have to, we got to play better. We got to make shots. We got to play, we got to play better basketball. And it takes the group. You know, you're, you got one of the best players in the league out. It takes the group to, to, to execute and, and get stops and get shots. And, and we're not doing it at, a, at the level that we were doing it about two weeks ago. Scotty, were you looking for a certain matchup with Cortot in there late? Or maybe or well, we, we wanted to make sure we secure that offensive rebound. I mean, the, the rebound defensively on the free throw line. And then he's one of our best screen setters late in the game. Unfortunately, he got an unlucky missed tip, right? Seven inches from the basket. I probably think that could have tied it up with 97 you know, 97. But we missed it. Uh, Otto's done the exercise by plenty this year, but he did it again tonight. Is there anything different with him, or was it just you know, um, Stan Lewis? Not as far as I know. I did notice that he was on the exercise bike tonight. Uh, I did, did not know um, if that was going to be the plan going into the game. Maybe it was one, maybe he wasn't. Felt like he was loose uh, enough. So, I mean, that's always an option for him, you know, for all of our guys. That's why that's why it's there. But you know, I haven't heard anything different. He's, he's feeling great.
First, uh, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah, we probably run our plays harder, pass a little bit more. So, we're trying to do too much at times. We're trying to play a little too much. Too much hero ball sometimes. We just got to stick with what's been working for us. How do you feel like the urgency was? Just I was kind of the talk the last couple of games. We had like we didn't give a damn, honestly. We just thought we could just show up and play because they don't have anything to play for. So we just thought it was gonna be cakewalk and they smacked us in the mouth. Brad, how do you explain that second quarter them going off for 42 points? Unacceptable. When you say that uh, you guys just think you're going to show up and win, I mean, you guys obviously know what's at stake. This is your you match, your longest losing streak of the season, all that, just the standings, all that. So how does that happen? Well, ben, I wish I could tell you, man. Especially at this point of the year, I don't know. Are we nine games away now? Um, what is your thought process going down the stretch, the decision uh, on Uber to go for the three rather than uh, hold the ball? He's open. I mean, if we if he would have made it, we'd be like, oh, that's a good shot. But because he missed it, you know, I'm probably gonna try to, you know, manipulate it in one way or another. But yeah, he could have he could have brought it out or whatever. He could have ran a play, you know, in time and score at that point. It's probably it's probably the best. But you know, at the same time, he's wide open. So uh, you know, it's a learning lesson for him. You know, we can't. It's not his fault. We lost the game. Brad, right. how did Trey Burke get away from you guys tonight? He was on a mission tonight. It's plain and simple. When we played him, like we didn't know what he was capable of doing. That's his players. You know, we played against him, played with him. So he just, it was kind of a statement game for him. He made it personal. On, on the mentality thing, is that something that you as the players need to address, or is that something where Scott's, that's uh, up to the coaching staff that's going to get to you guys? So that's in his locker room. Coach preaches it every single day, but until we do it individually and then to, together collectively, we're going to get our ass kicked in the playoffs. You know, it's just not even, this isn't even remotely acceptable with how we're playing right now because we're not even, we're playing like we're going to be done on April 11th, April 12th. Brad, is this something that you, that the team is experiencing, or is this maybe similar to when you guys were dropping from the group to some other team? That's very similar to that, but we need to, I mean, I could sit here and say that, you Neil, know, that we need to change it, but I'm tired of talking about this shit, man. It's just the same thing over and over. I'm tired of it.